We are continuing to get storm reports. These photos of uprooted trees in Daisy, North Dakota, after winds reported as high as 70 miles per hour tonight. We encourage you to continue to send us your photos and videos. You can upload them on valleynewslive.com. Let's check in again now with Hutch for the latest. Beth, thank you so much. I got to tell you, we're getting reports in portions of the FM area of some tree branches down and the like. We did have some very strong wind gusts work their way through and well, really, we have to wait till after the storm blows through to kind of assess what kind of things have happened here in the FM area. Winds were strong enough with that that cell as it pushed its way through as it surged its way through the Fargo area to uh, cause some damage inside the FM area. Likewise, for Grand Forks, East Grand Forks, as storms now push through Crookston and towards Thief River Falls again for about the third to fourth round of storms for you now. Again, we have this backward sea bowing shape to the echoes there, indicating strong winds. This is a measurement for you in Thief River Falls because we can give an estimate at elevation about 70 to 75 mile per hour winds up above the ground. Fargo, we cannot give you an estimate of the winds. They're moving west to east. The radar beams coming this way. No goody measurement that way. But we can tell you we got the backward C shape. We got some very strong winds. Severe thunderstorm warnings up and down the valley. Behind it, scattered shower and thunder shower activity isolated severe. However, we have that watch now in effect until 2 in the morning. A severe thunderstorm watch remains. If you are in lakes country, you can anticipate these storms moving through with more on the heels overnight. I don't know about you, Beth, but my lawn certainly needed some some uh, rain from this. The tornadoes, the hail and the wind didn't need so. Yeah, definitely don't need all of that in it. Thanks so much, Hutch. Coming up, we take a look as protests continue throughout the country and the world.